You have encountered another video in the Aerial Terminology video series from the Ultralight Airplane Workshop. In this video, we're going to talk about wing stall. Let's talk a little bit about lift coefficient or how the lift on a wing changes as its angle of attack changes. And we have another video in the Aerial Terminology series on angle of attack, so if you need to learn a little bit more about that, go over and visit that video. I'll put a link up here in the corner. In the graph here on the left, you can see angle of attack down on this x-axis. This is in degrees, starts at zero, and it goes up to 25 here on the right-hand side. On the vertical axis, we have coefficient of lift. That is a measure of how well the wing is lifting. So zero means no lift, and then the number increases as the wing creates more lift. So as you can see from this angle, as you increase the angle of attack, lift of the wing increases. On this particular airfoil I'm using, it's not quite linear. Typically, you will see a, a flat line in this region, fairly consistent slope. But notice that as you get up here toward the top, the coefficient of lift reaches a peak and then starts diminishing as you increase the angle of attack. After you get past this maximum coefficient of lift, you are in stalls. The wing is stalled. Increasing the angle of attack just puts you farther and farther into the stall. Let's talk a little bit about how this happens. Here we've got the same airfoil but at two different angles of attack. This is a little bit lower angle of attack. This is a higher angle of attack. This one is at 15 degrees before you get too far into a stall. This one's at 25 degrees and you're very far into the stall. And you can see how the different coefficient of lifts are at these angles. Coefficient of lift of 1.5 at 15 degrees, but far into the stall, we have a lower coefficient of lift. So we're losing lift even though we've really increased our angle of attack. And just as a quick aside, notice this term here, this is the coefficient of drag. Like coefficient of lift, it's just a measure of how much drag the wing has. So at 15 degrees, we've got 0 0.037, but way into the stall, we have much, much higher. It's higher by a factor of four, so we've increased the drag on the wing by four times the value we have up here at 15 degrees. Now let's look at this red line that we have here. It goes over the wing and it goes under the wing. Now under the wing, it's going to be the same on just about both wings. It comes off pretty straight from the trailing edge. That means the air is attached to the bottom edge of the wing and comes off fairly smoothly. Although you can see it dips down a little bit because of downwash. Same thing is happening even at the high angle attack. It's staying attached to the bottom wing and coming off, although you can't see it here, it's coming off with some downwash down here also. So that's good. When the air is attached to the wing, you have low drag. That means the airfoil is performing perfectly. But on top of the wing, we can see it's detaching. In fact, you can see it's starting, starting to detach on this 15 degree angle of attack clear up here. But it stays nearly attached until it gets back here to about old oh, two thirds of the way back. And then it detaches. But it's not detaching very far. In a perfect world, the air would stay attached all the way down to the trailing edge. And when you're down close to a zero line of attack, it nearly does. It almost stays attached all the way back. Since we're increasing our line, angle of attack, we're slowly starting to separate what's called the boundary layer from the wing. So as you increase the angle of attack, the point of separation starts moving forward. You increase the drag, and up to a point, you'll still be increasing coefficient of lift, but you get to the maximum coefficient of lift, and then suddenly this boundary layer just doesn't try to come down and be attached anymore and just stays out. That's what's happening here. We've attached almost all the way to the front of the airfoil. And this boundary layer says, I'm not even going to try anymore. And we're fully into stall here. In another video, we'll talk a little bit about boundary layers and how they work. Uh, difference between laminar and turbulent and just by the way so you know this is what's called a turbulent airfoil 
and that's because the boundary layer is turbulent all the way back and stuff what's called laminar. Generally a turbulent airfoil will have a better performance up near the maximum coefficient lift than a laminar will. But really conceptualizing or visualizing what the air is doing over the wing where it's separating out and this is highly turbulent air here and the boundary layer is completely separated from the wing from near the leading edge all the way back. That's a wing stall. You're losing lift because of this separation of the boundary layer. This very turbulent area has the effect of shaking the airplane. As we're getting close to the maximum coefficient of lift, you really won't notice it. Once the separation starts getting significant, this turbulence gets larger and larger and you can start to feel it. You can feel the airplane shaking. As long as the pilot is paying attention, he or she will realize that you're getting close to the stall. Stall recovery is pretty easy. All you need to do is push forward on the stick, lower the angle of attack, and your boundary layer will reattach. On a properly designed wing, the stall will start at the root of the wing near the fuselage and then as you increase the angle of attack, the portion of the wing that stalled will slowly start moving out toward the tip. When the pilot starts to feel the buffeting, the airplane should still be under control. The outer portion of the wing should still not quite be fully stalled, helping the pilot to keep the wings level and giving them an opportunity to push forward on the stick and recover from the stall. That's what we have for this video. You can at least have a little idea of what's happening with stall. Thanks for watching.